In this video, we will be going over eight skills you need to have in Rocket League in order to be a dribbling god. Remember, none of these skills will be perfected overnight. Don't get frustrated if you can't do them in the first day, or even the first week. Just keep working at it, and it'll click sooner or later. Let's talk about dribbling. The foundation of all these skills is your camera. You need to be comfortable using both car cam and ball cam. This is not really how you should dribble, at least most of the time. You simply can't perform most of the mechanics we'll be looking at today if your camera is moving all over the place. There is a place for using ball cam while dribbling, but most of the skills we'll be discussing necessitate a level of comfort using car cam. Car cam feels weird at first, but I promise you'll get used to it. Practice switching back and forth between ball cam and car cam so that you can quickly use either as needed. Okay, one of the most important skills for dribbling is the bounce dribble. Bounce dribbling is basically using your car to bounce the ball down the field, and you do this by hitting the ball right after it hits the ground. This is easier with cars that have taller hitboxes, which is why a lot of people like to dribble with the Octane, but you can still do it with a flatter car like, say, the Dominus. It just takes a bit more precision. At first, it's good to go into free play and roll the ball towards yourself, and start a bounce dribble from there. After you start to get it down, just hit the ball around the field with the goal of turning every situation into a bounce dribble. This will give you a taste of the kind of variety you experience in a game. After you feel like you have the basics down, go into an unranked match and focus only on bounce dribbling, nothing else. Just practice that one skill for the whole game. Make sure that you don't dribble the ball too high. You have more options on lower bounce dribbles and less of a chance of your opponent hitting it over your head. Doing a power shot is similar to bounce dribbling, except instead of tapping the ball, you're booming it right after it hits the ground. Again, a good way to practice this is to roll the ball to yourself in free play and start a bounce dribble. Then when you want to shoot it, get a little further away from the ball and time your dodge so that you're hitting the ball right after it bounces. It will be less predictable if you get your car on the side of the ball and dodge across the ball. Try to get the timing down from lots of places on the field, and try to hit the ball at the corners of the goal. Only experienced goalies will be able to stop power shots, so this is a really important skill for dribbling. There's really no secret to carrying the ball. You just have to practice it, and at a certain point, things will click and it will become automatic. Work on this every day for at least 10 minutes, and you'll have it down in a couple of weeks. Work on catching the ball from lots of different places on the field. The main purpose for carrying the ball is to be able to flick. When flicking, your goal is to throw the ball towards the goal in a way that is impossible to save. One way to generate more power behind the ball is to do a delayed flick. To do this, get the ball somewhat towards the front of your car and jump while air rolling forward and boosting and then dodge forward. There are a lot of different ways to flick the ball, so just experiment with it. Drifting properly is super important for dribbling. You need to be able to drift and boost at the same time, to turn and challenge, and also to move the ball in ways that are unpredictable for your opponent. As with all of these skills, go into free play and practice moving the ball around quickly, changing its direction as much as possible. Experiment with drifting, gas, boost, and brake to create lots of unpredictable movement. Dapper is probably the best in the world at this. Just go watch some of the things that he does in 1v1 situations. Try to get used to drifting in car and ball cam so that you can give yourself the most options. Faking your opponent into thinking you're going to hit the ball adds another level of unpredictability to your dribbling game. Faking is more than just spasming beside the ball in hopes that your opponent goes flying by. Don't get me wrong, that's super effective and endlessly gratifying to be honest. But there are other ways to fake your opponent. Carrying the ball across the field and then letting it fall off your car is also very effective. Allow your creativity to shine in this area. I'm going to be putting out a full tutorial on air dribbling, because I think there are some things that actually haven't been discussed in other videos. So for now, I'll just cover air dribbles from the ground, as it relates most to dribbling in general. 
I'm of the unpopular opinion that Rocket League should be fun, and there's honestly nothing more fun than air dribbling. With that being said, there's a reason I put this last. All of the above skills are far more important. If you can smash the ball at the corners of the goal, you're far better off than the best air dribbler in the world. Regardless, a well-timed, well-executed air dribble can be incredibly difficult to defend. The key to learning how to air dribble from the ground is learning how to bounce dribble. An air dribble from the ground is basically an extended bounce dribble. There are tons of tutorials on this, but for me, feel is everything, and this happens with lots of practice. Your car needs to be close to the ball as it's coming down. A lot of people when they first start doing this, their car's too far away from the ball and they're traveling too fast and their first touch hits the ball too far. If you're closer to the ball when it comes down, it'll be easier for you to air dribble from the ground. Again, like the other skills, just practice this a ton. Dribbling should really be something that is automatic. It's not something you think about. So the goal is to get these skills so ingrained in your brain so that they're like tools you can automatically pull out whenever you need them. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing, and if you have any thoughts or questions, put them below in the comments.